Hello guys, and welcome to our iGaming webinar. Let's just wait a bit until everyone joins us. And please write in the chat if everything is okay. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of room for info, info here. Okay, it seems like we can get started. As you know, today we're going to discuss the iGaming niche in detail with our special guest. This vertical is the hottest one in 2024 and shows no signs of slowing down. And that's why we chose it as the main focus for today. First, I'll introduce myself and Richard's ad network. Then I'll give the floor to our distinguished guest and we'll move forward to the discussion. Stay tuned. So let me start by presenting myself and the company I work for. My name is Nadia Saichak. I've been working as an account manager and onboarding team lead at Richards for more than two years. I have a lot of experience in launching campaigns for all possible verticals, including iGaming and know for sure how to boost advertisers' revenue. I'd also love to tell you a few words about Richards Ad Network for you to understand who we are and what we actually do. Being a self-serve advertising network, Richards has a lot to offer to affiliates. We provide more than 5 billion impressions on 200 plus geos on uh, daily on such formats as push, pops, in-page push ads, as well as direct click and native format. Our expertise includes working with all the verticals, starting from casino and betting to dating, buzz, sweepstakes, nutra, soft and more. We were also recognized as the best iGaming traffic source by Sigma. So the expertise we have in the niche is truly valuable. Now, without further ado, I'd like to give the floor to Anastasia Titova, a head of Yelana CPA Network. Anastasia, please tell us more about your industry experience and Yelana. Uh, hey everyone, Nadia, thanks for the introduction. Let me tell a few words about our company. So Yelana is an a gaming uh, CPA network with 700 plus uh, direct uh, offers uh, in gambling and betting niche. Also, there are some offers from other verticals like software, smart link, and actually we have our in-house VPN. Our main traffic sources Facebook or Meta, Google PPC, and ACO. But we also work with um, different traffic types like uh, UAC, in-app, email, push, and etc. At the end of 2023, we launch uh, our own in-house platform. Okay, thank you a lot for the introduction. Now we're heading straight to our today's agenda. First, we're going to discuss 2024 trends in the iGaming industry, including specific geos and approaches for the creatives. Then Anastasia will share top five tips on choosing a high converting offer. After that, we'll discuss how to choose reliable CPA and ad networks. At the next stop, Anastasia will provide us with a detailed overview of Yelana in-house platform. And finally, I'll share how to use AI tools to make creatives and talk about Richard's AI capabilities. In the end, we are going to have a Q&A session, so feel free to write any questions in the chat. Let's begin with discussing flaming hot iGaming trends. Anastasia, can you share which geos will be on top in 2024? Uh, yes, so if we are talking about best countries for running, running gambling and betting, uh, actually, the answer won't be so simple because uh, we need to pay attention for several things like uh, your budget, skills, and traffic type. For newbies, uh, tier three countries uh, will be good choice. But if you have a limited budget, uh, it might be better to pay uh, attention for less competition geo. Uh, keep in mind that in that case, uh, most likely that you will need to uh, use uh, translation services. Uh, I'm not speaking about uh, things like Deeple or Google Translate. Uh, you need to find good services that provide native speakers exactly. Quality of the text matters since uh, it affects on the quality of leads and CR level. Um, when it comes to best geos for betting, uh, I'd mention countries like United Kingdom, USA, Canada, Australia, for tier two, uh, Brazil still stands out as a prospective geo and grabs a lot of attention. 
Uh, as for tier three, uh, betting is very popular in India, Nigeria, and Argentina. In general, uh, when we are talking about to entering uh, US market example, uh, it could be very difficult and um, it will be better to pay attention for other markets. Uh, there are exciting opportunities uh, in Africa or Latin America regions. I'm not talking about uh, Brazil exactly. You can try other geos as well and it even will be better. For best outcomes, uh, it was focusing on countries that uh, have a high competition level. I should uh, mention that again, uh, especially if you are pretty new in this area. If you are wondering, for example, how much do casino affiliates make uh, in that countries, I'd say that um, earnings always varies uh, depending on several things. Geo, skill level, traffic source, budget, timing of traffic launch, uh, and team size. Uh, whenever working solo or operating within team, success depending on your strat strategic, ooh, <laughs> uh, strategic thinking and market knowledge. Yeah, thanks a lot for sharing. It was really interesting to know. To my mind, the main trend of 2024 in terms of geos is the countries with uh, new legislations combined with prospective geos that are not overcrowded with um, affiliates. So first of all, I'd advise to pay special attention to Asia, in particular to Bangladesh, Vietnam, uh, India and Indonesia. We see these geos on top in our monthly geo and verticals reports so have the, uh, because they have the best results in iGaming. And what's more, many affiliates ignore Tier 3 as they hope for the highest profits of Tier 1. The thing is that more expensive geos require big budgets and can still not pay off due to high competition. So make sure to test Asia this year, it will sure pay off. And the ultimate trend of 2024 is LATAM legal regions. Everybody heard that Brazil legalized gambling in the region, so hurry to be the first to skim the cream this year. In Peru, betting and gambling were legalized in 2023, while Chile has started a regulation process recently. So here are two more profitable geos to test. Some less popular but prospective geos include Nigeria, Turkey and Egypt. We see them growing according to our internal stats, so those are perfect options for newbies. Okay, that's all we have in terms of uh, geos, so let's switch to traffic sources. Anastasia, would you mind telling what works best for your affiliates? Uh, one of the most popular traffic source uh, is uh, still Facebook, for sure. But it has uh, become more difficult to work with uh, it, especially in some countries and um, several brands, actually a lot of brands are reducing their uh, advertising budget there. For example, promoting online casinos through Facebook in Brazil is very difficult since of competition level, low income per player and low long payback period for traffic. As a result, in order for advertisers to make a profit, they often increase the minimal budget, uh, minimal deposit or add KPIs, uh, which uh, naturally affects on CR for sure and in general uh, on the possibility of working with the offer. Uh, another popular traffic source that I would like to mention is uh, ACO. Uh, as it helps to improve users' trust and engagement and rise uh, the exposure of the gaming apps you are advertising. By employing ACO strategies, uh, you also affect uh, user retention greatly as people trust apps from Google Play and App Store. Uh, and um, I think the last traffic source I'd like to talk about is uh, Google PPC. Uh, it helps uh, in targeting potential customers uh, based on their search queries. So uh, you reach users who are, are actively searching for gambling-related products uh, and uh, something close to that area. Moreover, if you have your own casino website, it actually could be a good idea to combine two types of traffic here. It's PPC and CEO traffic. 
uh, this way uh, you will increase the site's ranking in the organic uh, results. Thanks a lot for your view. We have two main uh, leaders in terms of iGaming vertical. Those are push and pop ads, as well as one uh, growing format, native ads. The easiest format to start with is pop ads. You only need the link and basic targeting to get started. This type of traffic is always seen as aggressive, but for iGaming offers, it's more of a positive quality, as players tend to be more impulsive and sensitive to such impulses. And uh, in terms of price, it's the cheapest option at WeChat, starting with just $0.5 per 1,000 views. And another really learning format is push ads. This ad format has zero restrictions when it comes to creatives and landing pages. There is no chance that you will get banned or anything like that. And furthermore, push traffic are real people that subscribe to, pu uh, to push ads voluntarily. So the audience will already be an engaged one. Um, being not as popular as other formats, native ads do have a couple of advantages. Basically, these types of ads are integrated in a web website, so naturally they look like ordinary articles, so users find it hard to identify the marketing subtext. They do not annoy users in any way and are really effective in overcoming any ad blocks easily, and that's the main advantage for any marketer. Okay, now as you know all the basics, let's get down to the approaches for the creatives. Nastya, any insights here from your side? Uh, yes, so uh, if we are moving from Geo, uh, I want to highlight several um, uh, tried and tested uh, strategies. Um, example, uh, speci uh, specifying bonuses in your creatives. Uh, actually, that's not a new thing to anyone, but uh, there is a point that I want to draw attention to. Uh, this strategy will boost your CR, but if you apply it too aggressively, you may attract some non-paying customers. So it's even better to use uh, bonuses for a second or third deposit and uh, um, trying to use it for uh, user resurrection. Uh, also, trust is an important aspect in the online casino industry and uh, influencer marketing can help you uh, with it a lot. In case uh, the brand uh, you are advertising has its own ambassador, you should use it for sure, uh, since that will uh, ensure trust uh, and boost conversion rate as well. Additional way to maximize player engagement uh, through popular games like Blinko or Aviator. Um, you can also try sweepstakes and challenges uh, such as guessing which box uh, contains uh, has a gift. And uh, for tier three countries, uh, you can uh, use also success stories. That's very popular thing there. And also beat the casino tactic which always strike a very deep short in the local populace. I totally agree with the approaches that you mentioned. So though I have a couple more tips. The first and foremost idea is to localize your creatives. Um, different nations are into various symbols of luck and prosperity. So take it into account. The same is with holidays. Don't miss them and mention special festive bonuses on your creatives. In terms of translation, our managers will localize them for you for free, so don't hesitate to ask. A tip in terms of landing pages, use simple ones. Check the flow of landing pages before starting to work with it. It should match with your traffic, creatives, and audience. And just remember, the length uh, of the registration form and what your users see after that affects CR a lot. Last but not least, target different audiences. Do your research before you start. Gambling isn't just for men. In some countries, half of your audience may be women. And the ages vary too. So make sure you target all possible users. Use both male and female approaches in the creatives in one campaign, so you will gain results faster. And that's all in terms of creatives. Nasa, do you see any other trends coming? Uh, I believe that the sector will be greatly impacted by AI and big data analytics. I see that uh, artificial intelligence is uh, being used more and more 
uh, to analyze data, generate some reports, theories, and new ideas. And in general, it helps uh, to optimize time uh, and uh, many processes. Uh, but if we are speaking of new payment methods, uh, cryptocurrencies are becoming more popular due it's to it's um, available for everyone, regardless regardless of their countries uh, of residence and other points. Also, games that using uh, VR and AR are growing in popularity. I can also mention that uh, mobile gaming get a boost uh, with uh, the implementation of 5G technologies, more casino providers uh, adapt their games to mobile devices. So keep in mind. Yeah, I totally agree that AI is shaping affiliate iGaming industry and will influence it a lot. And there are some more trends that I also see coming. The first one is the usage of alternative payment methods. It's not only usual bank cards and transfers that will be popular, but localized e-wallets as well. Players become more attentive and want to have their regional payment systems like Gcash in the Philippines or GoPay in Indonesia. So um, another trend that grows by leaps and bounds is mobile gaming. So with the implementation of 5G technology, like Anastasia mentioned, more casino providers adapt their games to mobile devices, and the same is with the betting providers. Um, at WeChat, we also focus on mobile traffic more. 90% of uh, the traffic that we have uh, is mobile. So now that our viewers know which trends to follow, we are moving to choosing the best iGaming offers. Anastasia, please share the main tips on choosing a converting iGaming offer. Um, first of all, we need to understand that uh, the target audience for casino and betting will be slightly different. Uh, example, the casino audience is usually more stable and does not depend uh, on certain events. Uh, while betting products example see a boost in uh, run up uh, to certain sporting events. But there are some main things that need to remember when you are choosing, um, doesn't matter, gambling or betting offer. To find um, exactly high converting product, uh, you need to remember about five, I think, main aspects. Uh, first of all, it's reputation of CPA network or affiliate program. Uh, and uh, pay attention also for casino license, uh, minimal deposit, uh, user-friendly interface uh, for clients, and uh, that it has uh, the most popular games in the country, uh, and payment uh, options for uh, players. Uh, regarding reputation of CPA network, Ilana example is a project of WeChat. So our partners can be sure that we are trusted CPA network providing uh, legit offers. Uh, about casino license, uh, players are obviously uh, more likely to select legit online casinos. Uh, but the Curacao license will pro probably be uh, the one you uh, see the most of. Uh, about uh, mean deposit, uh, you need to check whenever the minimal deposit on the product uh, is reasonable. Uh, just ask your manager and you will get an answer. Uh, about user-friendly interface, uh, you need to pay close attention actually for that point because uh, um, every little thing counts, uh, including uh, how easy it is to register uh, what games are on the site, uh, what payment methods are available, what user sees after registration, and etc. cetera. Yeah, uh, that was really interesting to learn. Maybe you happen to have more detailed advice for professional affiliates? Sorry, I mute Sorry, I mute myself. <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, you need, I think, uh, analyze uh, reliable statistics in advance. So make some small research before start. Uh, it is preferable to favor an offer with a higher conversion rate. Uh, 
sometimes it's even better to choose uh, offer with a lower payout uh, as a profit, maybe even higher than another offer with a higher payout but lower CR. And there are two most important indicators that you need to pay attention on. Uh, first of all, it's click to registration and registration to deposit. Uh, it shows you um, uh, how to calculate your budget before start. Uh, if you work with us, uh, don't be afraid to ask managers for most recent statistic. We will provide anything, so don't worry. Uh, also, you need to examine uh, your offer details. Uh, example, withdrawal option. Uh, it's very important to be sure that the offer has everything, uh, every popular payment solution in uh, region where, where you are starting. Uh, restrictions, because uh, it could be certain traffic sources that are not um, acceptable on that traffic on that offer, uh, or it could be things like uh, cross band keywords and some maybe for you unlogical things, but logical for advertisers. So pay attention here. Uh, and whole period, um, it's uh, about how fast you will get money for your traffic. Uh, if an affiliate has a good history collaboration with us, example, we can provide him personal terms like shortening whole period of time and uh, etc. cetera. Um, also, I think we need to mention if, um, evaluate uh, available payment models. Uh, so actually in gambling and betting, there are some payment uh, models that you saw before. It's usually CPA revenue share. Also, it could be CPL offers and hybrid. Uh, we have in Yelana CPA, CPL and revenue share. Also, we have some hybrid deals uh, just Write your manager, we will give you uh, more information about that. Um, another important point is discover acceptable traffic source. Uh, that's very important, uh, additional to restriction. Um, in general, the primary traffic sources for modern gambling offers are Facebook, CEO, ACO, Google, UAC, and contextual ad. If you decide to work with Yelana, our support team will help, help you to find the right offer for your traffic type. And for sure, examine KPIs. Um, check KPI before you start working with it. Um, ask if there is anything hidden. Uh, it could be that the advertiser will check uh, if you pass some uh, indirect metrics before paying you. Uh, that's logical thing for advertisers, but uh, if your traffic didn't reach some level of example resurrection, uh, it could be that you will have a problem in your uh, traffic uh, um, could be even won't be paid. Of course, if uh, it's fraudulent traffic, nobody will pay you for sure. But in other cases, it will be better to insure yourself. Um, also, there is um, other thing involved, uh, for instance, is baseline. Yeah, thanks a lot for this detailed explanation. I have no questions left at this stage. So we are moving uh, to choosing the best ad and CPA networks for your iGaming offers. I'd like to start with choosing an ad network. There are just a few tips you need to take into account. So first of all, learn about the network size. It can be overall daily impressions or the amount of geos you're interested in, but check this in advance. For instance, at ReChats, we can, uh, you can find more than 5 billion impressions or 200 plus geos daily. And then check available ad formats. The more formats it has, the better. Of course, you need to make sure that it has the ones you are working most often. So if you're working mostly with push ads, pay attention to push ad networks. And most importantly, evaluate traffic quality. 
Any reliable and respectable ad network needs to have tools for identifying bot traffic and quality improvement, like, for example, ad score that we use at WeChat. And after that, learn about the best verticals. Each ad network can provide stats on the best niches to launch at the platform. So make sure that they coincide with your offer preferences. Make sure you check out available targeting. Again, the more targeting it has, the better. It helps for getting you to target the audience and gaining the most detailed results analysis later. And finally, discover optimization and analysis tools. It's very convenient to have all tools in one platform, especially if they simplify your daily routine, like auto automated optimization or all start in the same dashboard. At Richards, we implement AI tools that simplify optimization greatly, but I will tell you all about that later in detail. So that's all from my side. Nastya, please feel free to tell us about CPA network choice. Mm, sure. As for reliable uh, CPA network, you must pay attention for trust level. Uh, this point needs to, to be your first consideration, actually. Check the review through the special forums and sites. And you can Google it even. Uh, if you know someone who are working with um, that CPA network or affiliate program, that's amazing. You can find uh, a lot of reviews about Yelana online uh, to confirm that we are not involved in any scams. Uh, we are part of the holding um, and uh, <laughs> We need to check our reputation very carefully, as you understand. <laughs> uh, variety of offers uh, is the second point that I would like to mention. Um, diverse selection of offers uh, should be present in the best uh, CPA network. Uh, this will expand your, your selection and raise the uh, likelihood that you will come across the best offer that are uh, appropriate for your indeed uh, market. At Yelana, we have uh, a lot of offers right now, uh, inclu including in-house VPN, as I said, <laughs> exclusive uh, and direct ones, uh, gambling offers, I mean. <laughs> so uh, you will easily find that what suits for your traffic and what uh, for your skills uh, and uh, will help you to find the best way to promote it. Uh, also, regarding traffic approval, uh, as I said, you need to be sure that uh, network and exactly offer that you choose uh, accepting your traffic type. So uh, certain networks, example, have uh, tight policies and me prohibit uh, prohibited traffic from specific countries or sources. So be careful here. Uh, as I mentioned, we are working with almost all type of traffic, so keep in mind. <laughs> um, also, uh, regarding whole period and commission, uh, selecting network with a fail whole period is crucial because as longer period you have, as longer you will need to wait before you will get money for your traffic and uh, probably you will need to find more budget for starting new offers and you, as you know to restart uh, offers uh, several uh, all the time uh, again uh, it's affecting on your uh, cr and for your uh, profit as well uh, also support team and actually not only support team but affiliate managers as well because uh, uh, usually uh, normal CB networks uh, right now uh, have um, their own support team that uh, will help you uh, to find manager if you need it. Uh, find the offer, find uh, some tips. Uh, give you some recommendation about creatives and etc. It's very important to work with the people who understand what they are doing. Uh, Yelana support team uh, is always available. Um, however, the most pressing in cures should be addressing during regular, regular business hours. But for urgent uh, things, we are available even uh, on weekends or even 
evening time. That was really informative. So I think it's the high time to move to Yolanda detailed overview. Nice to please feel free to share your screen and show us all Yolanda features. Sure, just a second. So here we are. Uh, first of all, what we see it's an um, offer page. Uh, there's two sections, as you can see, all offers. So there is a list with uh, offers, uh, with uh, verticals, with geos, devices, blah, 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 etc. Here you can request access for the offer. Uh, you need to choose traffic type uh, and write some uh, additional information here. Uh, as much details as you will add actually will help us uh, to get faster approved for you because uh, sometimes we can uh, open uh, access for the offer by ourselves. Sometimes we need to send the request to advertiser. So as much details we will have, as faster process will be. Uh, by the way, if you don't want to do that, you can contact your affiliate manager. Here you can see the name. If you click here, you will be redirecting to Skype, Telegram, or send a message. Here you can send total balance. That's notification center. Also, here you can take a look uh, section of my offers uh, that the offer uh, was approved for, approved for you. Uh, the story. Uh, okay. Uh, Regarding this section, as you can understand that stop offers, uh, and if we're talking about request, request history, uh, here you can take a look all your request history. You can check uh, period of time example. Let's try something like that. Um, nothing found, but I'm quite, I'm quite sure that it should be something. Okay, never mind. Uh, here will be a story with approved uh, tickets. Uh, someone uh, will be pen in painting status, means that we are still under the review or get, uh, trying to um, reach the advertiser for getting an answer. And uh, if something will be declined, you will see it here or in the list uh, in all section. Uh, by the way, uh, when we are declining something, we are always adding some um, information why we did it. But in any case, don't hesitate to write your manager. That's pretty simple. Uh, regarding the statistic, there is two options, custom and uh, conversion. So custom, that's classical one thing that uh, everyone using. So uh, as you can see, offer, title, country, OS, and etc. Here you can choose time zone uh period of time that you want to check it clicks conversion approved hold decline total cr and etc regarding uh, conversions uh you will see here information about all leads that you created uh finance section um there is uh three points to pay attention on so hold balance that the balance uh, are still uh, on checking uh, with uh, the advertiser. Available balance, that the sum that you can uh, request uh, and withdraw. Uh, total balance, that the sum of that two points. And here you can see details about your earnings uh, by day. Uh, regarding this section, payouts, that uh, here will be your uh, uh, payouts history. So you will simply check everything. Uh, global post back, uh, actually that the section, um, when you don't want to set up post back for each offer and each link, uh, actually I will show you some um, something very useful right now uh, so uh, you can just set up global postback and it will work for everything uh, but also there is a function of test conversion so you just uh, need to put the link and uh, make a conversion so you can do it by yourself to check is that everything is okay but actually i don't recommend you to use global postback i will explain you why just a second 
uh, we will wait till it will load. So here you can actually uh, generate uh, the link. If you click here, first of all, you need to name the link. That's a very useful thing when you have a team, actually. So example, you have um, several media buyers in your team and you want to split them and take a look how they're working. Uh, you can, for example, name them like Steve or um, Steve, yeah, the link for Steve. So you have a link with the name Steve, and now you can add traffic uh, source post back. So this post back exactly will work for this link. Uh, if you uh, will add offer post back, uh, it means that uh, the link will work for the whole offer, not for this link exactly. But if you have two post back here, uh, traffic source post back and offer post back, then just only traffic source post back will work. So keep in mind that. Uh, okay, regarding payment methods, as you can see, uh, there are several. Uh, sorry, it's uh, already set it up, but. Uh, there are several options. Also, we have uh, crypto payment. Uh, so keep in mind uh, setting section. So oh, here you can change password and your profile information. Uh, you need to keep in mind that when you will create your account, uh, there will be two things that you won't be able to change. First of all, it's in uh, type of account. Uh, it's individual or company account uh, and uh, country of residence. All other things you will be able to change after you create an account. But there is actually a way uh, if you want to create uh, two accounts for yourself and for a company, we can do that. Just again, uh, send the message to your manager. I believe that I show everything. All right, thank you very much for this detailed overview. So we'll be moving to the last, but certainly not least part, uh, Richard's AI capabilities and uh, creative insights. So uh, first of all, I'd like to focus on existing AI tools for creatives making. So they are ChatGPT, uh, Midjourney, and Microsoft Designer. These tools can be used for many different purposes. The most and uh, most popular ones are um, audience analysis and approach search. You can ask about uh, peculiarities of any geo using ChatGPT. Uh, country uh, text generation, you can ask for text samples in different languages for various offers. And then image and icons creation, just specify what you want to see on your image and that's all. Uh, landing pages text generation. You can ask for a success story for your iGaming site and just get it without seconds. So let's start with the first point, uh, audience analysis. So the most convenient tool to perform is ChatGPT. Everything's just really easy. Just write a detailed prompt about your chosen geo or niche, but be as precise as possible but just don't overload your request with the necessary details. So for example, you can type uh, research the target audience of online casinos in Brazil, provide uh, detailed facts about the demographics and user behavior, and that will be enough. In terms of text creation, everything is also really simple. Again, one of the best tools to use is uh, ChatGPT. It's not very expensive. You can even try a Telegram version for a free test. So in this case, we used a, a very detailed prompt to make sure nothing is missing. So you need to specify the ad format, target audience, and any other details you want to be included. For instance, specific language you want your creatives to be translated into. So here's also an example of a prompt. Create 10 texts for push ads for casino promotion. Make sure they aren't too long, maximum two sentences, uh, and that's all. Uh, and also use emojis and different approaches uh, to interest the target audience in Brazil and translate to, into Portuguese. So in case you have any doubts in terms of translation, you can just order creatives at our platform. It's a free service, no charge. And uh, when it comes to pictures, there are many options, yet the most popular ones are Midjourney and Microsoft Designer. The last one is free, that's why we mentioned it. 
Um, in the case of image generation, you just need to write a very, very detailed prompt, explain to the tiniest details what needs to be on a pic. But uh, just make sure there are no uh, unnecessary elements uh, in the photo because sometimes AI adds extra legs or arms, so just be very attentive. So as an example of a prompt, uh, create several realistic photos of a woman winning in online casino. She's very happy. She won a jackpot. And uh, it shall be an image for Pujat Banner. So now as you know how to make creatives, let's get down to AI optimization tool. So first of all, I'd like to tell you in detail about our AI-based uh, optimization algorithm that is called performance mode. Um, this is an algorithm that is perfect to start uh, with because it creates black and white lists automatically just based on your individual targeting and the geo that you decide to target um, and the vertical. So the greatest thing about it that no tracker is required, so pretty simple, and no efforts are needed from a marketer. The campaign will be optimized without just any actions. And in terms of figures, our customers' cases prove that it's really possible to reduce CPA by 79% and boost conversion rate by 253% just by using performance mode. So apart from this, uh, there are two more features that you can use for optimization at reach ads. So we have an algorithm that is similar to performance mode and it's called target CPA. However, this one requires a tracker. This is a kind of optimization flow that you can select from the start of your ad campaign. With this function, you can get the desired cost per conversion easily. The algorithm creates micro bidding black and white list automatically according to your desired CPA. Um, last but not least, uh, go automated rules. This function allows adding non-converting or too expensive sources to blacklist automatically as well. You just need to set a rule uh, that suits your campaign. For example, uh, if a source spends more than uh, two conversion prices and it doesn't bring any leads, so in this case it needs to be turned off. So with automated rules you can do that. And basically all of the tools can save you time and money. You just zero effort spent, so make sure you test them. So I believe that's all from my side. So now we are heading to a flaming hot Q&A session. We've collected some of your questions and we'll answer them now together with Nastya. All right. So, um, so the first question is, uh, how can I start with the rich ads and how much money do I need? So to answer this question, I can tell you that in order to start, you can just sign up on our site. And in terms of money, it really depends on the offer that you are uh, planning to test. So let's say if you are starting with gambling or dating offers, these offers are usually cheaper. So it won't require a very high budget. But if you decide to test any kind of crypto offers or let's say you decide to try antiviruses, this one will require like higher budgets. So at WeChat, uh, the minimum deposit is $150. So that can be quite enough for the first launch. You just sign up, you'll be assigned to a manager and our managers will be able to help you out with everything. We are really happy to help everyone, even if you're completely new and know nothing about uh, working with uh, uh, ad networks, we'll be able to help you out. So in terms of how much money you need, just uh, decide what you want to test and we'll help you with the rest. All right, and let's see, we have a question for Ilana. How can I get exclusive conditions at Ilana? What do I need to do? Uh, actually, that's uh, pretty simple. Uh, people who are working with us uh, for some time and we see that traffic quality is pretty good and uh, that you follow all terms uh, of the offer, uh, we usually provide uh, special conditions. If your uh, team with uh, traffic, um, I think you can message me or in support team. Uh, that's very simple to find us in Yelana <laughs> chat example. Uh, and uh, we can discuss. Um, maybe we even can offer something uh, from the start. All right. Thank you very much. 
Um, and we also have another question for Yolana. Does Yolana also use AI and uh, whether you have any plans for it? Mm, sorry, uh, Nadia, can you repeat, please? Something wrong with... Uh, Do you use artificial intelligence uh, ah, any kind no. of tools? Ah, yeah, actually... Um, we're using it right now. Uh, don't tell my bosses, <laughs> but I prepare some information before our calls uh, using uh, AI. And uh, it helps me a lot. Sometimes it actually helps uh, me to uh, find some information and even uh, generate some creatives uh, for our media buying team. So, yeah, we're using it. Nice. Okay, um, then we have another question. I believe it's more like the common one. How much can I earn on gambling and betting? So I will answer, I will answer my part and then maybe Anastasia can answer her part on this one as well. So um, when it comes to the figures that you can make, it really depends on the geo that you pick. Because uh, you, when you pick a, G, uh, a geo, then you also need to pick uh, an ad network that will have enough volumes for this geo. So you just need to research that. Uh, after that, when you see uh, how much volume you can get and you decide what type of traffic you are going to use, basically everything that determines the volumes that you are going to get. And then after you launch a campaign, you also will need to optimize it and see with how many traffic sources you'll be left after optimization and things like that. Basically, there are so many factors that I can tell you that um, it really depends. But um, in, on our platform, some advertisers get like uh, 200 signups daily on their websites and then it all up to the payouts that uh, the casino is paying or betting platform is paying uh, for the signups or deposit and etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, actually, I can add that uh, in Yelana, since we are working with uh, many traffic types, I can say that it always depends on what kind of traffic uh, did you um, choose, and uh, it's actually about geo as well. So if you're uh, rating you in that area, first of all, you need to make a research, as I mentioned before. You need to understand uh, how, what budget you have. Uh, also take a look about um, some uh, traffic sources that you can work with. For example, if you're rating you and you don't have a lot of money for test, Probably for you will be better to start with push traffic, uh, but uh, you need to understand that there should be some specific offers that work with uh, push traffic exactly. Uh, no need to send push traffic for offer that works with uh, Facebook example. It uh, won't be good story actually. So. We example have uh, some offers, uh, CPA offers for uh, push traffic, uh, gambling, I mean, and plus uh, we have CPL offers and uh, how much you can pay, uh, how much you can earn here actually always depends on which country we are talking about because uh, it's very hard to compare, example, US market with uh, Bangladesh example. Uh, so it all depends on, but before you will start, I really recommend you to read more about how to work with different traffic sources, how to work with uh, different geos and uh, to select the right geo for you and uh, read some case st studies. As I know, um, Rich Ads has a lot of them on their blog. We have it as well. So feel free to check it and maybe you will have imagination about what you need to start with. All right. Uh, thank you, Nastya. So let's see what other questions we have. Um, what's the minimum budget to launch a gambling in LATAM? So if we're talking about the minimum budget uh, as of starting a campaign on reaches, the minimum budget for a campaign per day is $30. So that's the minimum that you're going to start with. 
And then if we're talking about a good budget to test, so I always say that you need to have some budget on for, and then this budget you'll be just testing before actually making the campaign profitable, because it's all it always requires some testing before you know um, getting the figures in the right direction. So I would say like a um, hundred and hundred fifty dollars should be quite enough for the initial test in order to find the let's say right path, uh, the right. Uh, um, ad type, uh, just sources and targetings that will help you make your campaigns uh, profitable. Um, I hope this answered the question. Um, I believe that we could add actually that uh, the, um, the budget will depend on uh, traffic type a lot. If yeah. we are discussing about push traffic, that uh, it you need less budget for start with but if we are discussing about something like facebook you will need um, additional infrastructure for that because facebook is not allowed to promote uh casino offers uh, usually <laughs> so uh, you will need to pay a lot of money for uh, clocking um, and uh, other things uh, and for example apps and etc and if we are discussing about ACO or PPC, it's not cheap at all <laughs> as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, bum, bum. Uh, can you share any tier one geos for iGaming on push? Um, so uh, from what I see on our platform, um, Canada is a great uh, geo for iGaming. Uh, it is it is always more expensive than, uh, let's say, tier two or tier three geos. So the cost per sign up is always higher and the cost per deposit is always higher, is also higher. But um, if you would like to choose something from tier one, then it would be Canada, maybe Germany, um, United States as well. Uh, what else? I think that would be the top three I could name right away. Uh, in Yelana, it's actually very popular Germany, example, France, uh, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So I think those are the top ones. Um, okay. So um, if I launch a casino offers only, is CPA, CPA or ref share better? Uh, I think that's a good question for me. So all depends on, again, traffic traffic type. Uh, why? Because if we are discussing about, for example, push traffic, CPA and uh, push, uh, CPA and CPL uh, traffic, uh, can, sorry, <laughs> flow will be better. Uh, but if we are discussing about um, BPC or CO traffic, revenue share probably will be even better but uh, a lot of uh, guys that you using uh, google ppc traffic um, prefer for sure cpe model okay so thank you uh please give tips on actual setup what targeting do i need anything to avoid for casinos um, so one advice I can think of right away is uh, definitely do not try to run after iOS users. So I wouldn't recommend just um, just uh, figuring out the way to target iOS users. So first thing is that you can't target iOS um, operation system with push because push doesn't have it. Um, but then you would need to try in page or pops. Although Pops is really good for gambling as well, I wouldn't have high hopes for it. Usually Android tends to work out much better. As for the rest of the settings, can't really say anything in terms of target. You just need to have good creatives. You just need to have a nice pre-landing page. Um, and that's it. In terms of any kind of advanced targeting, there is nothing to worry about. And if you have any questions regarding it, you can always ask your manager We'll be happy to help you at ReChats. So that's 
that's it. Uh, bum, bum. Uh, how do I check if CPA network is a scam? Feedback can be fake, you know? Uh, yes, actually it could be, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you know uh, people from the sphere that, uh, whom you can ask uh, for getting the feedback of the CPA network. If you don't have something like that, you can check if uh, some big influencers are working with the CPA network. I don't know, something like a KJ Rocker example. Uh, most probably that it's not fake. Plus, um, take a look about the style of their views. Uh, means when it's always in the same styles, in the same tone, most likely that it's not real. <laughs> Okay, um, thank you, Nasa. And we have another question. Any tips for tier three promotion? Some optimization hacks for me, thank you. I think that would be a question for me. So in terms of tips for tier three, I would always advise to test um, push ads as well as pop ads. So on reach ads, we've seen uh, an increase in demand for pops in terms of gambling because it started to like have really great results and the uh, CPA is sometimes way lower on pops than on push. So that's a really nice way to test it as well. And then um, also as for tier three promotion, I would suggest just you need to find out what's going to be working for you uh, or working for your offer. And once you find it, try to scale as much as possible on it, because the more signups you're going to have, the more deposits you're going to have, the easier it will be to optimize and to reach the right audience and therefore just um, earn more money as, uh, as an outcome for that. And as for optimization, that's always really individual. So when you set up the campaign uh, on reaches in the dashboard, when you click the campaign, you can see our optimizer tool. And in this optimizer, it will help you to determine which sources will need to be turned off, uh, what needs to be blacklisted and things like that. So it's really intuitive. It's really easy to you know, figure out how to work with it. So it won't be, um, like, uh, it won't be really hard. So then optimization is there. And also, again, we have managers that will always be happy to help you with optimization. And just make sure it's not just for tier three, but for any geo uh, or for any vertical, it's always a good idea to have a tracker and postback set up because once you have everything set up, it's just easier to track and it's easier to optimize and it's much easier to make it profitable. Without a postback and tracker, sometimes you can't even see where these conversions are coming from, what you need to turn off, how to reduce costs, and so on, and so on. I would like to probably add uh, some points that I didn't mention before when we discussed about tier three. Uh, mm, uh, you need to actually speak with your manager about uh, what will be the best language for the geo. Because sometimes it's not the best option to translate uh, creatives to local language because most probably that English uh, will uh, catch attention of uh, more um, uh, more reliable uh, audience uh, and local language will catch a low paying audience. So um, write your manager to consult about this point. Yeah, thank you, Nasya. And I think the, that's going to be all with the questions. Thank you a lot for your question. It was really interesting to answer them. And now I'd love to announce the bonuses that we have for our viewers. So Richards offers a 10% bonus for the first deposit for all new users. Apply promo code iGaming to get it. You can also find my contacts in the chat and on the slide if you have any questions. Ilana also prepared a special bonus for you. From the 16th to 30th of April, you can get a 10% bonus to payouts from $150 using promo code EDU150. The contacts of Anastasia are also in the chat now. Don't hesitate to contact her. 
And that's all for today. Thank you everyone for joining us. Stay tuned for our upcoming webinars, podcasts, and interviews. Juicy ones are coming soon. And make sure to follow our Instagram channel for more um, updates and the links in the chat now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, below and click the bell icon uh, to not miss new videos. Bye, everyone. Bye.